We're going to just continue our warm up. We'll do something else as well today, but I'm going to use Jenga Dan. We're just going to warm up with a uh, spinning arm bar drill. So, those of you that have got more time in, we'll do it quicker. Uh, on your breath. Uh, scoot back here. So, the way we get to this from knee on belly, right? So we're inside control. I come up to knee on belly. It's when he addresses this knee, it's in his stomach, okay? So, as he's pushing, I'm gonna shovel my hand between his bicep and his forearm, right at his elbow here. I'm gonna grab, put my elbow right in his ribs. This allows me to turn, okay? So all I'm gonna do, you can use your hand if you need it for base, okay? I'm gonna step over and put my leg right next to his neck, my Achilles. is gonna be right on his neck, okay? So I step here, turn, and I'm gonna go four, uh, 45 degrees, straight back to his arm, okay? If you need your hand to keep your ball up, all right, he pushes, I scoop, turn, close my hand, turn, okay? Go right to the wrist, Okay. Now, I'm really doing this to get the movement to get in there, right? So, if you're new to it, we're only going to go on one side. Um, if you've been here for a while, we're going to do both sides. So here, go right to it. Here, scoop, roll into it. We're just going to cycle back and forth, okay? Um, I'm not going to do it for time. Normally I would, but I want to make sure that if you haven't done it before, you got some time to go through it. Okay? Um, I'll walk the new folks through um, the steps as far as each, each spot. One more time. Scoop. Here. I don't want my arm all the way through. No good. Okay? Now he can move me. All right? I want to just scoop my arm through. You probably don't have to keep that that tight for this. Uh, it's just like arm. Right. Okay. Scoop. Here. My elbow on his ribs. Okay. That allows me to move him. Step. Turn. Finish. My left leg is underneath his back. All right. It's just over his neck, under his chin. Pull and tight. Really steep on the elbow. Anytime on these arm locks, turn. I want his thumb, I want to orientate it to the ceiling. So if his thumb was up, it'd be pointing at the ceiling. That's what I want. Okay? I don't want it like this. In theory, I can still break the arm here, but it's so much easier for him to rotate out. Turn. Okay. So I don't want him to have that option. So control, keep the thumb pointing to the ceiling. Um, don't need to hip up on this. I just want to work on getting to the position, okay? We'll start with that and then we'll move on to something else. All right, one, two, three. The deep half stuff last week. Um, we're going to work on a little bit of half guard passing. So, he's going to have me half guard. And he can be have a low shield or a high, it doesn't matter. So right now he's got low, that's fine. Um, if he's got high, right, I need to get my arm on the inside here. Okay, this shield's gonna be in my way, all right? He doesn't want my hands to get to his neck, all right? He's gonna keep me away from his head, okay? So, I can do a couple of different things. He's in here. I need to get this off, okay? So I can either grab at the pants and pummel on the inside, or I can work on the inside here to my hand to his hip, okay? So a lot like these passes we did with the Toriando and things like that the last couple weeks. Now, this shield is okay. I'm, I have my arm on the inside, so now I can start to work my shoulder in, okay? So he's in with the shield, he's framing. I'm selling it like I'm trying to get to his head. I'm gonna circle my hand on the inside of his shin, and I'm gonna slide it to his hip, okay? That's gonna allow me to pop with my elbow to get that knee off of my sternum or my shoulder area, okay? So he's in here heavy, I swim, Get my hand on the inside. See, it's sticking out now. Pop it off. Now, once I pop that off, this knee is going to go to his hip. Okay? I'm going to kill his hips first, and then I'm going to control his head. Okay? So I'm in here. 
I pop that off, my knee goes to his hip, here, and I, now I'm gonna work on wrapping his head. Okay. Back here. Pommel to the inside. I could pummel, control his hand, that works too. Okay. All right, if we have this controlled, my knee is gonna go to his hip, here, and now I'm chasing his head. Now I'm gonna sit. My left knee is going to go into his hip bone. Can you see that okay? Okay. Left knee is going to go right into his hip here. And I'm trying to get my right knee straight up and down. Okay. Come back. Here. I pull. Hands already on the inside. Knee to his hip. Chase his head. Sit. Knee through the hole. Now, as he tries to keep his half guard, okay, I can either scoop underneath here. Or I can grab the pants and get my knee through the hole, okay? What I'm looking for is my opportunity to back step my leg out here. So I'm heavy onto his face with my shoulder, controlling his pants, and I'm just waiting for him to adjust. Here. Pass. Okay, so pressure on him. He's not letting me into his head. Scoop behind his ankle. Post. Here. Pop that off of my chest, shoulder. Coming off of this spot here, okay? Control my hand, pommel, knee to his hip, wrap his head, sit, okay? I can scoop or grab the pants, okay? If I'm scooping, see here, lock your legs. This makes it hard for him to lock his legs. I keep this in tight, right? He can't sweep me here, it's very difficult. Drive into his face with my shoulder, and I'm just waiting for my opportunity to back step, drive in, and finish with side control. Any questions on that? I want to work with you guys directly. Does that make sense? So it's that position you were working on this weekend, not the deep half part, but the initial part from half guard that we're attacking. Okay? That bottom leg, when you put it up, are you just trying to keep his hips from rotating? Is that why you sit up underneath it? When I sit into his hip? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm trying to control. Turn this way. So he's in. Hand on the inside. I pop that off. Control. Now I have my knee here. This one's gonna pinch. I'm gonna lock his hips down. Okay. Here, here. Now is that sit. motion right there. What's that for? Is that the sitting on my hip? I'm pinching his hip with my knee, and I'm closing this leg in tight. So this leg is controlled. But it's also very difficult for him to keep my knee in control. Okay? If he squeezes the life out of this, now my knee came through the hole. So it becomes easy for me just to wait it out. Any kind of a sweep he does, he's got to unlock his legs. Okay? If he refuses to unlock them, as long as my knee's through the hole, I'm going to be okay. I can hip skate, push it out, and finish. Okay? But I'm trying to control his hips, then his head. Does that make sense? Everybody good? All right, break up into your groups. One, two, three.